It is without doubt that Pizzo Musumoni is one of the greatest football coaches ever to arise in Africa. And with all his successes at hand, being named Africa's greatest coach, and in 2021, the best performing coach in world football for that year, the securing three trophy wins for El Oli. His life doesn't come without some stories behind. So, this is the unspoken story of football legend Pizzo Mozimani, Africa's greatest coach to date. Pizzo John Hamilton Musumoni was born on the 26th of July in 1964, meaning he is at least 68 and turning 69 years old as of 2023 by July. He was born in Kojiso, Gauteng, in South Africa. As far as the research goes, not much information into his childhood survives to date, neither any information on his parents or siblings. However, it is said that Pizzo was destined to be a soccer player. Apparently, he started playing football from a very early age and would participate in local clubs too. Well, you may think that things started out at the top for Pizzo, but you would be utterly wrong. Before joining the Greek club Ionicos to play under coach Nikos Elefantos, Musumoni began his professional career at Jomo Cosmos. Jomo Cosmos was a very local club in South Africa however, a lot of famous players came from it, including Musumoni himself. He then played for Memlody Sundowns and Orlando Pirates. Not knowing that he would later coach one of them. Later, he joined the Qatari club El Said and the Belgian team KFC Rita Bala. Pizzo spent some time in Belgium and it is there that he began his coaching career according to official records. He started by coaching the under-11 players for the Belgian KFC Rita Bala team. And it was during this time that Pizzo Musumoni the player was done away with and Pizzo Musumoni the coach and manager was born. After coaching the Belgian youngsters team, Pizzo returned to South Africa to look for bigger. However, he only found himself coaching the Memlody Sundowns reserves which was a step closer to bigger things. After coaching the reserves, his coaching abilities were noticed and he was invited to join the PSL Supersport United team as coach Grobler's assistant coach. At this point, nothing was going to dim Musumani's light, because in 2001 he was invited to become the head coach of Supersport United and his skills showed in the improved performance of the team. Even though the team didn't win in trophies in the PSL during that tenure, he was able to lead them to second place in 2001 to 2002 and 2002 to 2003's PSL. His tenure at Supersport United lasted for seven years. After his contract supposedly ended at Supersport United, he was invited to be the caretaker of the national football team of South Africa known by its nickname Bafena Bafena. He held this position for seven games in 2007 before Carlos Alberto Pereira was announced as the head coach for Bafena Bafena. However, Carlos didn't last that long in that position as he was removed as head coach in 2010. In the year that Carlos was dethroned, Musumoni had been working alongside him as his assistant coach after he got promoted into that position between 2009's FIFA Confederations Cup and the 2010 FIFA World Cup. After Carlos was removed from his position, Musumani won his first game against Ghana in the 2010 FIFA World Cup quarterfinals with a score of 1-0. However, the success was short-lived after Musumani blundered in aiming for a draw in the 2012 Africa Cup of Nations qualifier games when a victory was actually required, leading South Africa to not qualifying. In the 2012 Afghan League, Musumani took over as Memlodi Sundowns manager in 2012. Following defeating Egypt's Zemelec 3-1 on aggregate, 6, he and Memlody Sundowns won the 2016 CF Champions League, becoming the second South African team to accomplish so following Orlando Pirates in 1995. In December 2016, the International Federation of Football History and Statistics IFFHS, named Musumoni as the 10th greatest coach in the world for 2016. After leading Memlody Sundowns to league supremacy in 2015-16 and winning the Telkom Knockout Trophy, Musumani was named Coach of the Year at the 2016 Glow CAF Awards in Abuja, Nigeria, on January 5, 2017. The only coach to sweep all domestic trophies during the PSL era. In the quarterfinals of the 2018-19 CAF Champions League on April 6, 2019, Musumani guided Memlodi Sundowns to a 5-0 victory over Egyptian club El Oli, advancing his team 5-1 overall and into the semi-finals. Musumani was introduced as El Oli's head coach on September 30, 2020. He was the club's first non-Egyptian-born African manager. El Oli won the 9th CAF Champions League title on November 27, 2020, defeating Zemelec in the final and qualifying for the 2020 FIFA Club World Cup, 
where they ultimately placed third after defeating Palmeiras on penalties. He helped Al Oli win the Egyptian Cup on December 6, 2020. He led the soccer team to victory over RS Pekin in the African Super Cup in Doha, Qatar, in May 2021. After defeating Kaiser Chiefs 3-0 in the championship game on July 17, 2021, El Oli won the second CAF Champions League championship under Mosamain in their 10th overall. According to Rory Smith, Musamoni became one of the top managers in world football for the year during this eight-month stint, during which El Oli won three titles. He defeated Roger Casablanca to win the African Super Cup again in December 2021 in Qatar. After spending only about two years with El Oli, Pizzo Musumoni decided to resign from being the team's El Oli agreed Musumoni's request to resign as their manager on June 13, 2022. According to the president of El Oli, Musumoni resigned midterm after losing a match in the CAF league citing that he was tired physically and psychologically. It seems like the Egyptian giants put a lot of pressure on him. Musumoni was going through a lot of training all over Africa to ensure El Oli had the best coaching and all this was becoming too much for him. So, he decided to resign. After his resignation, he joined the Saudi Arabian team of El Oli as its manager. This is currently his post.